Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. On this channel, we cut through the hype and the noise, and we give you the non-biased information you need to capitalize on what I think is the biggest opportunity in history, and that's the next bull run. That being said, you've got to understand the big picture, and you've got to understand token tokenomics and what the implications are for having bad tokenomics. And Avalanche has bad tokenomics. Now guys, that's not a bad thing. Avalanche is young. All of crypto is young. Now, bad tokenomics really doesn't matter or necessarily matter in a bull market. Once the demand explodes in crypto, Avalanche or any project, XRP, in my opinion, about the worst tokenomics in all of crypto. It can pump. But you can write this down, and I will stake my reputation on this statement. Any project like XRP or Avalanche that has bad tokenomics cannot and will not maintain a pump after a bull run. Period. So the reason this video is so important is I'm going to share with you the tokenomics and what's going on with Avalanche. And this is the closest thing to a guarantee you're going to get in crypto. Avalanche is going to keep bleeding all year. Now, that could change if some crazy good news comes out. Not for Avalanche. That wouldn't be enough. But for, say, Bitcoin, like the spot ETF. Then the bull runs on and the avalanche bad tokenomics and supply dumps won't really matter and it'd be game on. But unless that happens, it doesn't matter what news comes out about avalanche. It, will, it may pump short term the rest of this year, just like it's doing now, but it's not going to maintain it. It's almost virtually impossible. Now, here's the cool thing, guys. If you understand what I'm going to go over with Avalanche, it re relates to every project out there. Now, I'm going to be straight up with you guys. People don't want to dive this deep into tokenomics, and they don't want to hear what they call FUD. But I'm here to tell you, I've been around wealthy investors, not rich, wealthy investors for about 35 years years and the one thing they have in common is they want to talk about and understand 100 percent what their risk is and that's way more important than the upside guys when you have opportunities like crypto 22,000 projects and there's there's over 20,000 sexy stories we want to know the downside what's the risk reward and what that's going to look like how are the tokenomics? Because that's going to tell you when to sell and when to start looking to get in. And that's kind of what we're going to go over in this video. And I'm again, guys, we're talking about Avalanche, but it relates to every single project you're going to own. And if you understand this, guys, this is called smart money thinking. You're going to make a lot more money and you're going to make a lot better decisions. That being said, guys, hit that like button. And let's get started. Now, guys, I use this tool a lot just kind of to get the ball rolling when I look to buy or sell any project. It's called Token Unlocks. Now, if you look on this screen, you see Cliff Unlocks and you see Linear Unlocks. Well, here's the difference, guys. Cliff Unlocks is when a project unlocks a big amount of tokens all at once right like tomorrow morning they're going to unlock 200 million dollars of whatever project and i can give you an example uh literally as we speak gmx is about to unlock 15 well that's that's not much 15 mil uh, 15 thousand dollars that's not at all big let's find one that's going to get into the millions Aptos, perfect example, guys. Great project, 
horrible tokenomics, but it is early. They're about to unlock $23 million worth of Aptos. We're in a bear market, and the smart money's diving into Bitcoin right now. What are the odds of Aptos not going down in three days when they dump that type of supply onto the market? It's virtually impossible. In a bull market, might make a slight dip, might not even make a dent. Now, let's get back to Avalanche. Because, guys, I feel 100% positive that without a big event, like the spot Bitcoin ETF in this macro environment where we're in a recession and nothing positive is going on in the world, Avalanche is going to continue to bleed because of its tokenomics all year. And it really doesn't matter. I can't even come up with a, uh, a news announcement that would change that for Avalanche because Avalanche is dumping so much supply so aggressively, it can't maintain it. It's at best going to be able to st trade sideways between now and the end of the year unless this bull run takes off, which will be led by Bitcoin. Now, let's look at Masari, another tool, guys, you got to go educate yourself about. It's M-E-S-S-A-R-I dot I-O. Now look at this chart, guys. This is the token dumps since the uh, right before the start of the biggest bull run in history, which is 2021. Guys, Avalanche during that process of that bull pump in 21 dumped about a 10x of supply into that bull run. Could you imagine how high Avalanche would have went if there was good tokenomics, say like Bitcoin or Quant? That thing would have went to the moon. Now, that being said, look how much supply year to date. Guys, that's just year to date. They have dumped from 300 million, 311 million to 350 million. 4 million, which when you look at it on the big picture to some of the projects like say XRP, they dump that much every month. It's not a big deal. But guys, it's a big deal and it adds up. Now, we're going to look at the Bitcoin dominance. Guys, that tell this tells you, this is Avalanche versus Bitcoin. This tells you that if you would have, in the last year, just like that chart, if because of tokenomics mainly, it is not mainly, but that's a big deal, that if you would have just bought Bitcoin you, instead of Avalanche, you'd be up almost 60% more than buying Avalanche. Well, guys, this chart's still going down. So it tells you the smart money would rather go into Bitcoin right now than in Avalanche. And that part is definitely because of tokenomics. Bitcoin has great tokenomics and Avalanche has horrible tokenomics. It's like 24-28% inflation. So guys, think about it. If you get 28% more demand in Avalanche, you trade sideways. If you get 28% more in Bitcoin, you go up 26-27% plus the FOMO. It's a big difference. Now, I use Claude AI, which is absolutely amazing, guys, to break things down really fast. So I'd ask, I ask it, what was, were the cliff unlocks, in the, or the unlocks, not just the cliff unlocks, coming for the rest of 2023? Now, stay with me. We're going to look at the chart, and sh I'll show you this is already playing out. So think about this, guys. Here's what's happening in Avalanche right now. If you're thinking about buying, I would think long and hard about holding off. Check this out. October 7th. Almost 12 and a half million tokens going to be dumped from the foundation. 
October 15th, 8.3 million avalanche dump from the from the foundation. November 19th, another 8.3 dump from the foundation. December 17th, another 8.3 dump from the foundation. Now it also says there's going to be small daily linear unlocks, which we talked about before, of around 215,000 AVAX from Avalanche Foundation through the rest of this year. Now, additionally, guys, think about it. That's a quarter of a million tokens dumped daily, plus the big unlocks. How are you going to maintain that type of demand, right? Think about how many people have to have an interest in buying Avalanche just to trade sideways. It's virtually impossible in this market. Now, it says additionally, approximately 2 million AVAX from Team Tokens will unlock in December. Now, in total, around 40 million AVAX are still set to unlock from the Foundation team and other sources before this year. So think about it, guys. Avalanche is a, a world beater type project. I mean, it's a great project. Everything about it, the roadmap, the team, it's got money behind it. It has a huge demand. It has a lot of adoption. That being said, every bit of that is offset by the token dumps that are happening every single day. And it's going to suppress that price for the rest of the year. Now, guys, this relates to every single project out there. Now, that being said, I asked Claude, I said, hey, well, what are the linear unlocks happening? Check this out. 215,000 tokens a day from October 8th to December 31st. Every day, guys. So that's basically almost a million tokens every four days. Now, this is on the top of the cliff unlocks, which I talked about. Now, the team has daily linear unlocks of 41,000 from October 1st to December 31st. That's on top of what I just mentioned. And then in, in addition, there are cliff unlocks of 2 million team AVAX in December, which I believe I mentioned before. Now, other daily linear unlocks 28,700 28, from partners and early investors from October 1st to December 31st. So think about it, guys. These people are taking profits, immense amount of money from this ecosystem so the demand isn't there to offset all these dumps and guys here's the good news you buy low and you sell high because i'm 100 percent convinced this is a great project and it will pump and it's going to pump hard in the next bull run but by understanding this information you're not going to run out or at least i'm, I'm going to speak for me because it's not financial advice I'm not going to run out by avalanche. I'm going to let it get beat down and beat down and beat down and let it bleed, hopefully, all year. And then, once it starts to bottom out and the unlocks get better and it starts to get stronger against Bitcoin, and then we start to literally go into the bull market and the economy changes, the regulation changes, maybe we get a spot TF, ETF, avalanche is going to explode i have no doubt about it that being said they're still going to dump all the way through the bull market and dump aggressively and take their profits and i'm going to do that with me with them because guys here's my plan and you do with this information as you will i plan to buy avalanche it's a no-brainer definitely as a swing trade i'm going to stack it sometime between now and the when the bull run starts if i'm a little late that's fine i'll swing trade it i'll stack it 
And then just like Avalanche, Early Investors, Foundation, and everyone else, I'm going to dollar cost average all the way out, and I'm not going to be greedy. That's called smart money, guys. And if you don't sell or take your profits in this next bull run from Avalanche or any project, you will be the profit. I promise you that. Guys, understand how smart money thinks and understand how they manipulate you. And understand that these influencers, whether it's Avalanche influencers, XRP influencers, or your favorite token influencers, if all they do is tell you how great a project is and they never tell you the downside, and they never tell you about the bad tokenomics, you need to stop listening to those people, guys, because they're going to get you wrecked. You want to start thinking about, try to think like smart money. When I used to work for Bear Stearns, we had a sign over the door that said, if the majority were right, the majority would be rich. And the majority of people don't look at tokenomics. The majority of people in crypto, unfortunately, are looking to FOMO in every time Bitcoin pumps, you know, 5%, which is quite often. Bitcoin pumps 5 10%, altcoins in. Look around, guys. Correct me if I'm wrong. Look at all the videos of the influencers right now. Not that many. I'm consistent. Bull run, bear run. I, I pretty much try to do every day. I don't do every day. But I'm consistent. And I'm consistent with my statements. But guys, if Bitcoin rallies to say 35000 tomorrow, the influencers that are putting out one video a week or something, they'll put out three, four, five a day. FOMO, FOMO, FOMO. Well, guys... Nothing's going to change bad tokenomics. And until we do enter into a bull market, and until, for instance, Avalanche starts to make a gain on Bitcoin dominance, it's going to keep bleeding. And you don't want to FOMO in to any of these projects with bad tokenomics in a recession in a global slowdown where macro is bad across the globe, you don't want to do any of that, guys. You want to just set back, in my opinion, stack some stable coins and let this thing bleed. Anyway, um, I don't even know where I was with that, but I think you get the, the point. It says, in summary, I'll read that. 215,750 daily avalanche foundation are going to be dumped. 41,000 are going to be from the t are also from the team and another 287 are going to be from the partners and investors. It says these all run through the end of 2023 on top of the remaining cliff unlocks which in 46 days they're going to unlock 96 million. All right guys, I know I get a little off track I start rambling but look at this guys they just had a pretty good pump from good news avalanche gets good news constantly again guys it's not fud and i'm not trying to say negative things about avalanche avalanche is great tokenomics are not and i can promise you a lot of people watching this and guys i feel for you but you'll know next time when this all started happening they started listening to people and fudding in. And people are buying all the way up, guys. All the way up. Well, you know why this is almost guaranteed? Because the smart money, the early investors, the developers, the foundation, taking profit, taking profit, taking profit. And guys, they're going to keep taking profit all year. They're going to milk avalanche for every single drop. That being said, let's look at the all-time chart. Look at that, guys. You can buy Avalanche lower than you bought it at the start of the last bull run. Guys, at the way it's going, you might get it at all-time lows. All-time lows. $4. $3. Who knows? But I want you to think about something, guys. This right here, I'm not going to say is out of play because Avalanche is exploding in its ecosystem and with its partnerships. 
but the tokenomics is also exploding. Guys, it has to have about 10x more demand to go back to its old market cap or its old all-time high, right? Because its old market cap, I didn't do the math, but the old market cap with the new supply is probably going to be around in here somewhere, guys. So it's going to need a huge run up in the next bull run to take out its old high. I'm not saying it will, but guys, that's the type thing that you need to understand and will help you understand when to take profits and if something is going to reach a new all-time high. I'm not saying it will or it won't. Time will tell. But I'm going to give you an example, guys. In 2017, when XRP hit its all-time high, Ripple dumped like 12, 13 billion tokens on that run-up. And it, well, I take that back. I don't remember how many. It was maybe six billion or so. Forgive me for that. It, but it did dump 12 to 13 billion in 2021. That's why it didn't make an all time high, in my opinion. It really didn't have much to do with the court case. Probably had something to do with it. But guys, when you have a project like Avalanche or XRP and a lot of other projects, Aptos, and many more. When they start dumping on a bull run, and you can almost guarantee they will, it's going to be hard for that project to hit an all-time high. Because it's not like Bitcoin or Quant or Ethereum being deflationary now. Because guys, with the same demand, think about this. Let's use Quant, for instance. Great tokenomics. For quant to hit its all-time high, it only has to have the same amount of demand pretty much as it had two, three years ago. Well, guys, it's not the same quant anymore. It's got 10x more adoption and more recognition and more growth. It should explode through that all-time high. Avalanche. Guys, not the same avalanche. Adopt, adoption has exploded. The, the uh, ecosystem growing, growing, growing. However, so has the supply. Do you see the difference? And guys, that's really, really important. Because a lot of people just pick out these projects. And they do the math from here to there. And, and you, sometimes it, it comes out to be, you know, 50x, 100x, you know, and way higher. And you're like, wow, that could easily happen in your mind because you're thinking they're all the same. Well, guys, they're not all the same. So understand tokenomics. And guys, I say this with love. If you're looking to buy Avalanche, think long and hard and understand the tokenomics. And my guess is going to keep bleeding at best. It pretty much pumps to trade sideways. It could pump a little bit from here, pump a, a 1x, a 2x, a 3x from the bottom, and it's going to bleed back down. Pump, bleed back down. But guys, every time they unlock, that's basically taking profit. Look at it that way. Taking profit out of that ecosystem. And you got to have a huge amount of demand. And where's it going to come from, guys? We're in a bear market. That being said, guys, these are the good times. I did not enjoy the last six months because I knew, or I felt, and it turns out I was pretty much right, that, and I'm not bragging, but I didn't like the last six months because I didn't want to buy anything because it was pumping. And I'm like, this is a bear pump. It's all going to bleed back down. And pretty much everything but Bitcoin and Ethereum has bled back down. The AI that was all hyped up, bled back down. XRP won the court case, bled back down. Avalanche pumping right now, probably going to bleed back down. All of them. I mean, guys, 98%, 99% of all projects are going to bleed. They're going to not maintain their bare 
pump because of tokenomics and flat out demand. We're in a bear market. I can't stress that enough, guys. Anyway, I know I'm rambling, but I really want you guys to understand that and go across the board, guys. Look, I'm going to be very clear and I'll let you go. Bad tokenomics does not in any way, shape, or form tell you that a project can't explode. Sheba, Pepe, XRP, Avalanche, and many, many more. They can absolutely explode. But you can take this to the bank. They will not and cannot maintain that pump. And then once the bull runs over, the supply dump doesn't stop. It will increase in the bull run. Go to Masari, because it's important. When the bull run starts, people don't know when to sell. Go to Masari and start watching the token dumps. When you see a project dump a billion and another billion and another billion, right? That project is not going to maintain that. Do what the smart money does. Do what the early investor does. Do what the founders do. If it's a company like XRP, Ripple's going to dump. Ripple has dumped $3 billion this year. This year. And they've dumped, I think, $1.5 billion since the announcement, guys. Why didn't you take profits? I did. Well, I'm not bragging, guys. But you buy low, you sell high. And one thing about crypto, guys, it's not going to maintain the pump. Even the ones with good tokenomics, it's a cyclical investment thus far. At one day, like for instance, Bitcoin, when Bitcoin gets that spot to you, ETF, there will never, ever, ever be a $25,000 Bitcoin. Probably not even a $50,000. Maybe not even a seventy-five dollars or $100,000 Bitcoin. Because, guys, at some point, Bitcoin and all the cryptos that make it are going to trade more like a stock. The bear market will become, let's say, a 30% drop, 50% tops. But at some point, whether that's this bull run, the next bull run, the one after, things are going to change. But the ones that change first, no if and buts about it, will be like Bitcoin, Ethereum because it's deflationary, quant. Those projects could easily pump to all-time highs and in the next bear market, drop just 20%, 30%, something normal like a stock. But the ones like Avalanche, and I say this with love, guys, I'm not ragging on Avalanche. No matter how big Avalanche pumps in the next bull run, the same with XRP, the same with Aptos, no matter how hard they pump, they're coming back, way back. Probably more like the 90% back. So, if guys, this is good news. Understand the game. Understand the odds are you're going to be able to buy Avalanche cheaper this year. And again, not financial advice. But the odds are, the probability is it's going to keep bleeding with all these unlocks. And then we know. If we don't take our profits, whether it's Avalanche or any project with bad tokenomics, if we do not take those projects, we're riding to the next bull run. And if that's what you're going to do, I don't know for the life of me why you would even be watching videos like this. Because just stack whatever project you want and come back in 10 years and hope that it even exists. And that is a huge risk. But guys, I coach people one-on-one. -on -one, and the number one thing that I've seen, and it breaks my heart, and quite frankly, I don't get it. I didn't know it was a thing when I started coaching. But 9 out of 10 of the people I coach came to me because they have taken a small amount of money and turned it to a large amount of money, a huge amount of money. But they didn't take the profit. Guys, it's not your money. Until it's in your wallet, right? Until you took those profits. And I am i can't, in, in my wildest dreams, understand how someone could say take $1,000 and turn it into 150 or something like that or 250 
and then ride it back down to 3K. Or 10K to half a million or 600,000 or a million and ride it back down to 20K. Guys, understand the game. This is crypto. And the people that get rich, everyone that I know in crypto that are rich and made a ton of money, they took their profits, guys. They're not holding it for 20 years. They're not holding it for 10 years. They're not waiting for the banking reset. They stacked it hard in the bear market, and they unloaded it in the bull market. Win Lambo, they went through Lambo. Guys, that's called Lambo, right? That's when you take the profits. You don't wait, and you do not, you do not hold any of these projects Long term, if you want to keep a small bag or keep 10% of those profits and let those ride, hey, that's something else. That's up to you. But guys, outside of Bitcoin, the risk of holding these things through the next bull runs with regulation and what's going on in the world. I mean, guys, I truly believe that 98% of all these projects are going to disappear just like the dot coms. But now out of it, are going to be the world beaters. You're going to get the Googles, the Microsofts, the Apples, those type projects from crypto. But it's only going to be a handful, maybe a couple of handfuls. But out of the 22,000 projects, 25,000, whatever there is, the majority of them are going to die. And ones with bad tokenomics still may not be at a high price 10 years from now or 20 years from now. With, if they still have enough supply that the founders and the developers and the early investors can keep dumping for 20 years, it's going to keep beating down that project. So you could easily have a project. Let's just say you put 10000 in. It runs up to a quarter million. You didn't take the projects, the pro profits. That's one bull run. Goes to another bull run. Runs to half a million. Didn't take the profits. Three, five years later, it runs to a million. All the way back down, still didn't take the profits. And now your $10,000 that you've held for 10, 10 years and you're waiting for it to just, you know, change your life. If it's there, now it's back to 30 k But guys, think about this. And I know I'm rambling and I'm going to let you go. You take your profits... Think about it, guys. You take $1,000. If you turn it in, let's just say $150. You dollar cost average out. Let's just say you ended up with $90K. At the start of the next bull run, you got $90K. You do the same 10X, 15X, 20X. That's life changing. If you go to the third one, you're going to be starting that thing with half a million, a million dollars. Guys, I can't stress it enough. Take your profits or become the profits. Now, that has nothing to do with Bitcoin. I believe in what Michael Seller says. Never sell your Bitcoin. All right, guys. I know I'm rambling on. That's all I got for you. If you like this, hit the like button. Share with like-minded people. But either way, guys, come back and be part of this community. That means subscribe. Take care, guys.